Salutations Legion, this is Why You March, and today I have another Lush haul. A lot of these are going to be the Halloween exclusives, although we do have some mainline products. And I think we will start with, this time I'll start with the uh, Halloween exclusives, so we can open up the bags first. this one. And first we have the Frankenstein bath bomb. And he's this very cartoonish looking Frankenstein's monster bath bomb. He smells kind of herbal because there is... Oh, you saw that move on its own. There is pine fur balsam in this, which gives it that sort of grassy, woody kind of scent. And there's also galbanum and geranium in this. So, on the back, it's flat. And I think it's really Is above the bar. So next we have the witchy woo bubble bar. It's a sort of charcoal looking color, but there's no charcoal in this. And there's like a sort of yellow orange swirl going through it. This bubble bar smells exactly like the detergent that I use. It has lime, frankincense, neroli, and olibanum. It's a pretty solid bubble bar as well. I imagine the water is probably going to be gray if I use this. Yeah, this smells really good. It's very detergenty and floral. Yeah. It's like maybe like a dryer sheet kind of scent. That's a good thing for me though. Next we have the dancing skeleton. might not think because of the outside color being this very sort of creamy looking color that it'll actually be blue. And even weirder is the scent. It's actually tangerine and orange, which I don't usually associate with the color blue. A lot of powder. So this is a very citrusy bath bomb. It's also probably the first bath bomb I've seen in a while that's thin, like this. It smells very citrusy, very fruity. And I thought it was going to glow in the dark because they do have a bubble bar that glows in the dark and looks like this, but it actually And this one is a mainline item, although it looks like it could fit the theme for Halloween. This is the Black Rose Bath Bomb. And this belongs to the Rose Jam scent family, which is Rose Geranium and Lemon. It's a very jammy scent mature, I think. To me, it smells kind of perfumey and grandma-ish, but that's a good thing for me. Uh, this will make your bath water black, and I think it has some, like, holographic glitter in it, so it looks really pretty. 
last time I used this, it didn't stay in my bathtub, so if you're worried and then the water will really be dark. And next is the Brain Freeze Bath Bomb. And it's in the shape of a skull. It has purple and blue stripes. And of course the water It has peppermint and spearmint and cypress, so it's a very minty scent, but it's like minty and tree-ish. Yeah. I would say that it's like kind of a more masculine scent, not that it really matters who's wearing it. It's just something that I think smells like. It's kind of odd that it's a minty kind of product, and it's Halloween. It feels more fitting for a Christmas or winter item. There is also some popping candy, so that you can hear little crackles in your bath water. And now let's look at the stuff in the little basket. of Lord of Misrule Shower Gel. And this is part of their Lord of Misrule scent family, which is, uh, I almost said frankincense. It is patchouli, black pepper, and vanilla, no frankincense. Um, let's look at it. It's this very bright green color, and it is opaque. The average person will like this right away. But I really like it. And it's the only Lord of Misrule thing, I think, this year. Which is odd, because this is like their Halloween set. So, very weird. Next, we have the Toil and Trouble Shower Slime. That was an interesting concept. They do have shower jellies, which are like gelatin for your shower. This is a shower slime. Let's see what it looks like. So, I don't think I'm gonna take it out of the little tub. And it kind of, it's viscous, but it's not the same a shower jelly because it's not completely coagulated. This is lavender, peppermint, labdanum, orris root, patchouli, and sage. But despite all that, it's not actually a very herbal scent. It's sweet. And the thing that you will probably smell the most from this is the peppermint and lavender. So I think maybe this would be really good for kids if like you want to get them like a fun soap. Maybe you can get them this very pepperminty, lavendery kind of smell. Maybe it's good for before they go to sleep. And this little bat is a soap, like a bar soap. Same scent as the slime. I wish I could show you a demonstration. I'm just gonna skip that one for now. This is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. And it is 
use the same scent as that bath bomb, the black rose. Same rose, lemon, and geranium scent. But I think you can smell more of the rose in shower gel than one. I don't think you can see it from the pot very well, but it is a dark red color. Very mature scent, very perfumey. When you use anything that's from the scent family, it will stick on you for a while. And I got a sample of it just so I could use it with this bath bomb. I'll put it here for now. So I have Intergalactic Body Scrub, part of their Intergalactic scent family, just like the Bath Bomb and other related products. And there it is. You can't really see much of the color, but when I saw it in the store, it was blue, pink, yellow, and The most prominent scent is the peppermint. I think it'll pair really well with this bath bomb or that one too. And my mom got a sample of lemony flutter cuticle butter, which is like a hand cream, and it's the tiniest sample I've ever seen. This is lemon, shea butter, kopalasu butter, avocado, mango, coconut oil, castor oil, lavender, decadence, chamomile, and gardenia. Lots of things going on in this, but I expect there to be a lot of oil in a hand cream. Her hands have been really dry. And it actually kind of worked somehow. Like she put it on in the store and it worked somehow. It like moisturized her hands. But then again, she put on a lot of it. So. And the last thing here is the First Swim Cuttable Bubble Bar. And this is a mainline item. I must have gotten the butt end <laughs> or something like that but look at it it looks like a stone and I think this is the same scent as the Outback Mate bar soap it is a very clean minty scent a lot of these are minty because you know me I love minty scents and this has sea salt, eucalyptus, peppermint, and lemongrass. So I was right, it is the same scent family as Outback Mate. Very bright, fresh, clean, minty scent. And you can see all the sea salt on it. I can't wait for this to be mixed in with those minty items. It's gonna feel so cold.
all that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you felt relaxed, and I will see you in my next video.